Oh, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages, this is Supreme Dragon and Hidden Assassin P. As Hidden Dragon, coming at you today with a Gearja Rampage structured deck review and thoughts on it. Don't forget like, subscribe buttons, leave a comment down below what you think of the deck. Uh, this is a person from DavidAdamsCarWorld.com. Check out their link down below, as long as as well as the eBay and Facebook links. And we will jump right to it. As you can see, there's the card list. You can pause it and read it if you want to, but we'll kind of go over it and give our thoughts throughout the deck and what we think of it. Um, coming up after this video, uh, which will probably go up Monday, um, there will, we will be doing not one, but two cases of Legendary Collection 5Ds. So stay tuned for that next week. And let's see what we got here. The little list and combos, how to kind of play gears if you don't know how. Like me. And the nice little paper mat that uh, the OCG got as a nice little uh, rubber type mat. Shows all the little gears. And now for the deck itself. You're not putting the, where you put your cards at there. No, I see slightly. Yeah, and this is more built, this was uh, kind of released before the Pendulum whole thing. So the newest monster, and the only reason I kind of bought this deck, was for the Gear Gigant XG. The new level, uh, rank 3, sorry, not level, rank 3 uh, Xyz monster for them. Kind of helps them go off a little more. And the other reason people were buying it is Girga Augur. Uh, apparently this car does something really nice, I don't know what it does. But it must be really good. Uh, then you got Giorgiano Mark III to go with Giorgiano Mark II and the regular Giorgiano. And Giorgia Attacker, so I'm kind of playing. So it's another level 4, probably to help spam the field with rank 4s. Of course, your usual Giorgiano. Your MK2s. Your 1 Accelerator. Your 1 Arsenal. And your 1 Armor. So that's pretty much your just main Gearja cards for this and then just kind of to round out the deck because they want to make money they throw in two green gadgets which you don't need two red gadgets which you don't need two yellow gadgets which you don't need Gadgetron Chimera don't need Gadgetron Dragon don't need Jumbo Drill don't need Minefield Driller don't need Card Trooper is pretty decent Scarecrow's good. Oil Man, don't need. Mech Support, because who's using Union Monsters these days. Giant Rats, yes, because we all want to search out for more rats. Gear Town, not bad, but doesn't really fit with the overall theme of this deck. Limiter Removal, that's pretty good. Uh, Machine Assembly Line, nah, not that great. Fisher, of course. Smashing Ground. Double Summon. That's actually really good and the only card I'll probably keep out of this other than the uh, XCs. Creature Swap. Terraforming. Uh, your one Gearja Gear, which is good because you need that for the Gearja deck. Uh, Stronghold. Yeesh. Metal Morph. Yes. And Rare Metal Morph. Because obviously we can go into Metal Zoa and Metal Red Eyes from this deck. Roll out. And a good old common Gear Gigant X. Not a bad one to pull. To go with the whole Gear Just theme. So, cards you can actually use from this deck to build Gear Just. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. And two of them is for the extra deck. So, little less than one third of the deck you can actually use to build gear just so you have to actually buy two or three of these to actually make a full gear just deck so um, like I said no not too bad this is you know this guy and um, where is auger okay I can't find the guy yeah so these two guys pretty much are what you're looking for along with uh, double summon to play the deck with. Uh, any thoughts from you? I was just reading this little thing, little strategy guide, how to get the morphs out. 
All right. <laughs> so, any thoughts on the deck, or? Well, I mean, like you said, you're gonna have to buy at least two or three of these just to get the gears, uh, the gear against. Uh, yeah. That's... Throw off the, the combos and stuff, but I mean. Typical structure I, deck. I, I, yeah. Three. I mean, it's pretty good. I just wish that uh, the newest car, the XG over here, had a little bit more attack to get around some of those other big monsters. Like yeah. 2,500, I mean, that's like the standard for a lot of cards. But most starter decks and structure decks nowadays do have monsters up to 2,700. Just like, you know, I would just like to see them have a little bit more attack, a little bit more oomph. But besides that, I mean, you just have to get, get a few more. Okay, so his effect kind of makes up for the lack of attack, which states you can detach one material from this card, negate the effects of all face-up cards your opponent currently controls. Also, your opponent cannot activate cards or effects. Ooh, okay. So that's really nice. And this can be done during either player's battle step. Okay. And they last until the end of the damage step. Slight drawback, and when this card leaves the field, you can target one other Gearja in your graveyard and add it to your hand. So it kind of keeps the whole Gearja yeah. loop going. Like okay, you're gonna need at least two, two or three of these decks just to. But I mean, I say I like him. I just wish he was a little bit stronger because he looks like Gearjian X, but a little bit bigger. But he only has like 200 more attack than him. Yep. But it's morphing time. Yeah. But besides that, I mean, like I said, I like it. Especially with uh, was it overdrive? That's in this uh, limiter. limiter yeah, limit remover. remover. I mean, that would kind of make up for if you put maybe one or keep that in there, and it'll help him. But I like it. All right. Some of these like cards, says, like that rat, they can get rid of that rat. You know, like I said, they could have done <laughs> a lot better job with some of the cards they threw in to kind of help fill out the deck. Uh, they could have given you a second armor. Uh, to go in this and and a sec or a, and a second accelerator, I think it's is it accelerator or arsenal that's at one. One of the two of them's at one, and of course gear to gear is only at one, so you only need one of those. So they could have made it a little more centered around gear just, but then that would mean you'd only have to buy one or two decks instead of two or three. Yeah. So they want to make money off of this. All right, so that's been our uh, review of the. Gear Jig Gear Structure Deck. Uh, don't forget, like, comment, and subscribe. And this is Supreme Dragon M. Hidden Assassin P. As Hidden Dragon. And we are signing out. See you on Legendary Collection 5Ds.